Hey friends, it's Ruben with Hi-Fi MIDI. And this is sort of an advanced video. I wanted to have it out there on YouTube because I couldn't find anything with clear instructions. Um, I don't know how it's gonna work with other DAWs, but I imagine that it's similar. And the problem that I was having was that I have a funk guitar that I was using on this track, and this is how it sounds. That's just looped several times. But this is a sound that I wanted for that. So I have a wah pedal within Amplitube, but I couldn't figure out how to control it. And I looked in the manual in IK Multimedia's website, and I looked on Logic's manual, and there were still no clear instructions. So I thought maybe if I recorded it over the MIDI, and dragged it with my mouse. Maybe that will work. But that didn't work. So I heard that you had to create another MIDI track. And after about an hour of searching, I finally found out how to do it. And I want to show you. It's pretty easy. So in this case, on my guitar track, I have Amplitude in the effects menu. Now that's not gonna work like that. So what I'm gonna do, what you have to do is create a new MIDI track. So in software instrument, you're gonna open Amplitude 4. So it's gonna be separate. So now you can go ahead and get rid of instance of Amplitude within the funk guitar track. Cause you don't need it. There you go. Now we're going to control amplitude by itself. Now when we when we have amplitude opened on its own MIDI channel, we can add I'm going to use a preset here. And then you'll see when we go to the uh, the stop box and we add the wah. Now we can assign that MIDI. And in this case, I'm going to use the mod wheel. So learn wah, and I'm going to move the mod wheel up and down. Now it can control it. However, we need to link the effects channel to the guitar channel. And the way we do that is you go up here to sidechain, and it's on none right now, but we're going to go down and select funk guitar. So now all the sound from the funk guitar channel is going to be sent to the amplitude channel, to the effects channel, with no need for uh, for messing with the send or bus or anything like that. It just automatically sends it. So now I'm going to mute this because it's going to play the clean sound of the guitar as well as the process sounds. So we don't need that. Um, this is how it sounds. Okay, now I'm going to record it again, but this time I'm going to move the wah pedal up and down by using the mod wheel. So now when we go to the step editor, in order to see this, um, I think it's channel 11 expression. No, 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 oh, that's the foot pedal, I'm sorry. Um, mod wheel, channel one, you'll see, you'll see that that MIDI data that I just input right now is is in that, is on that track. Um, and I what, I what you can do at that point is just, you can go ahead and, and drag it and loop it and that's how it is. This is this is with both tracks together. All 
Well, friends, I hope that was helpful. If you're someone who has been looking online like me on, on how to how to uh, set that up, um, it was actually pretty easy and uh, it made sense after the fact. So um, thank you for watching this video. Please like this video, leave a comment, and subscribe if you haven't for more videos. Thank you.